let's talk about uh, the news story that's lighting up my uh, Twitter feed right now. This has just come across the news transom. <laughs> Biden pardons thousands of people convicted of marijuana possession under federal law. The president urged governors to follow his lead for people convicted on state charges of possession. So this is uh, through the, throwing people a bone. Is, 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 this, is, this dark, is he dark brandoning or is this just more bullshit that's uh, designed to buffalo people into voting for the Democrats? Well, I mean, yes, that's all any of it is. Uh, the question is whether people are going to be uh, affected meaningfully in numbers by it. Because they say thousands here, but realistically, you're talking about a pretty small number of people because this is people convicted of federal simple possession of marijuana, which means basically you got caught with weed on like a federal park. This is like when I tried to bring weed into the Smithsonian exactly. Museum. Yes. Yeah. If, if, you, if, that guy had, <laughs> if, that, if that guy had actually gotten his manager instead of <laughs> yeah. his manager being like, I don't want to deal with this, you might be yeah, subject I might be, to I would Brand, be, I'd be thanking my, Brandon's thanking my lucky clemency stars at this for Brandon's, very moment. The mercy of Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just this is from New York Times. It says, President Biden on Thursday pardoned all people convicted of marijuana possession. Oh, D.C. people, too, because okay. they don't have well, that, okay. uh, in, in some of those places. Under anyway. federal law and said his administration would review whether marijuana should still be a Schedule One drug like heroin and LSD, saying that makes no sense. I mean, look, I'm, I, you know, g good. I'm glad people are getting their records pardoned. But like, I just once again, I don't get why they're, if it makes no sense, why they're subjecting it to a review process. You got to review the thing. You like, got to go through gotta the review. You got to committee. Like, why not just deschedule marijuana? I mean, yeah. You yeah. got to you got to make John Daly smoke a whole bunch of marijuana first and review it before you decide whether it's legal or not. Well, the only thing I've ever been addicted to is a thirst for knowledge. I mean, that's like that's overdue. I obviously would like them to do that, but I don't even think like the scheduling of narcotics should exist. You know, yeah. obviously, like that's it's a broken system. I mean, I'm I, yeah. No, I think this is a good thing i think it does there aren't a ton of people who are like are in federal prison for just drugs no. much less like just pot but it is i think it will affect like a meaningful amount of people i do think that you would kind of like you'd get more mileage out of touching a little more of an electrified rail which is like most people who are in federal prison for you know fentanyl they're usually people who are like dealing to maintain their habit I mean, don't hold your breath on that one, but like, no, they're gonna. That would get a far more significant <laughs> amount of people out of federal prison. Well, that's not. Trouble. I mean, the idea but it's is not just not going to happen because the idea is to get elected. It's not to make any X number of people's lives better, right? Uh, but yeah, I, I, the fentanyl thing you're seeing now, they're they're pushing to make dealing fentanyl if somebody overdoses of it, charge them with murder. So I think you don't get just decriminalization of anything in this country something else has to be extra criminalized right, right. Out. that's why oh they're illegalizing weed everywhere and then they got then jewels are now banned or whatever there always has to be something so uh, yeah they might end up i wouldn't be surprised if honestly just by just in order to keep the the hope that they can uh you know not get destroyed by the republicans alive in people's mind they're going to keep having to push forward yeah. on marijuana but that is going to be met, met with yeah probably death penalty for fentanyl dealing yeah or and, and the fentanyl is only like an issue because of what the obama era dea did in response to like the pill over prescription from the sort of post 9 11 post iraq war world yeah it's all it, it's just there will be no meaningful review of like why this is a thing when it previously wasn't even 15 years ago. Well, it's a thing now because dealers are giving out fentanyl and candy on Halloween. Yeah, and yeah, they're yeah. putting it yeah. Be on careful your out there, folks. They're putting it on your car doors so that you'll pass out like the cops. That's the, I, the fentanyl thing is so weird. It is sort of the perfect drug for this time because it doesn't even it's not even like good. Like people always characterize it as X amount more powerful than like you know morphine or oxycodone but it's it, the thing with fentanyl is it doesn't really get you high it just like puts you out that's why they use it in hospitals <laughs> and uh, it's so weird that like people ever put it in coke that's so it's weird just like well, you're, you're trying to kill your your customers i suppose yeah i don't know actually uh when my dad was dying uh they gave him fentanyl and i was like how was it and he was like pretty awesome yeah, but i'm not people, endorsing old, it don't do it don't do it unless people, you're dying old people like taking naps <laughs> <laughs> you know of course he liked it i mean I, I, it's like you know it's still like a ultra powerful opiate but it's not like it, it, it's not the same as other ones that people like to abuse that uh you know subsequently fell fell thanks to the opiate whack-a-mole of the 2011 2014 dea regime but it, it's 
I mean, that's also hospital fentanyl. Most fentanyl that people get, like... It's like some, you know, some maiden of fucking... Yeah. You know, like pill press, fucking dark dark web, fucking... No, not even dark web. It's like a sub-Jesse Pinkman guy trying <laughs> yeah, okay. to make it in yeah. his bathtub. Yeah. Um, I guess just with this, like, yeah, like, we, I, you know, I've been, I've been saying this for a while. Like, this is the, an obvious, obvious gimme for the Democrats. So, like, if they don't do this, there's political malpractice. But we said that about, you know, the federal student loan uh, forgiveness as well. And we saw how that was just clawed back. So I'm imagining now, like in, in two or three weeks time, what, what the clawback is going to be on this. Be like, oh, geez, man. we talked to the parliamentarian and uh, the, the, apparently uh, the, this only applies to weed that's mids. If you're smoking gas, you're, you're still you're still in jail. Your record's I, not getting cleared. I agree with that, though. I mean, like, <laughs> is it the, the clawback is always like in anticipation of like a pending court case, though, yeah. right? Like yeah. that's usually the thing. And again, like the, this weed thing is this is something that like Obama should have done. In addition oh my god, to a he had billion, eight years to yeah. do this shit. Yeah, unbelievable! Yeah. What a loser! Yeah, but he didn't even need the votes. It was some. You didn't need the votes, you're right? It was. It was a little less popular then than it is now. Oh right, yeah, they, yeah. They, yeah. They have to wait. That. Like they're 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 all waiting in like think tanks in D.C. and they're looking at like a graph yeah. of like an opinion poll bar reaching a terminator of fifty one percent support, and then they all it's like the moon landing. Then they all just cheer and go, finally, we can uh, pardon all those yeah. the two hundred people that are in federal prison <laughs> yeah. for having just weed. Yep. Yeah, but like yeah, that's an Obama thing. I mean. Maybe in 20 years, we'll get like some sort of, um, well, we'll get a committee on the power of federal courts. Well, uh, that's like, yeah, that's the main thing. Anytime you see like a disappointing clawback or anything, they're anticipating that the entire thing just gets like eviscerated by a 35 year old that Trump put in some circuit court. Right. Well, OK, so like obviously this only applies to uh, federal convictions, but I just want to read one more paragraph here from the Times here. It says Mr. Biden urged governors to follow his lead for people convicted on state charges of simple possession, which there are many, no, many, a lot many, more there's a lot of fucking yeah, people. A shitload. The number of convictions under state law vastly outnumbers those who have been charged with a violation of federal laws, limiting the overall reach of the president's actions on Thursday. So I understand that like in almost a third to half of the country right now, they have decriminalized marijuana, if not like, you know, the commercial sale of marijuana. But doesn't this create an incentive for like, let's say Ron DeSantis to just like go in the opposite direction and now just like announce the death penalty for possession <laughs> of weed. I don't, I mean, maybe I see that more the move of like the governor of, you know, like Wyoming. Right. I think with someone like someone with national ambitions, uh, they know that weed is like, no one really wants people to get football sentences for, for just weed. But I think like the response in, you know, a place like Florida with a guy like DeSantis or someone or Greg Abbott or someone like that, it would be like, yeah, we're going to execute a fentanyl dealer. Yeah. Who is just like probably, yeah, a, a Jesse Pinkman type who like made it in a bathtub and didn't well, didn't even successfully sell it to anyone. <laughs> President Biden today announced his pardons for all people federally convicted of having a goofy ass T-shirt with like skulls and writing yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> a guy, a guy whose life was ruined after meeting the first girl to ever graduate college <laughs> in his sexual history. Uh, well, you know, hey, Dark Brandon, how about Dank Brandon? Ah, Ooh. That Brandon oh, yeah. Pack. Yeah. Hey, they're going to be smoking that Joe Cush in the White House. Oh, was that Zenny? Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, because he just, just he's like hated weed his entire career. Yeah. yeah. 